penalty of perjury. Top executives from four leading U.S. financial firms on Wednesday defended their actions before the Financial Crisis Inquiry Commission. The bipartisan 10-member commission is trying to determine the actual causes of the financial collapse in 2008. Commission Chairman Phil Angelides. If we ignore history, we're doomed to bail it out again. Angelides questioned Goldman Sachs' Lloyd Blankfein about how the firm sold investments. It sounds to me a little bit like selling a car with faulty brakes and then buying an insurance policy on the buyer of those cars. I do think that the uh, behavior uh, is improper. You know, we regret the, result, the consequence that people have lost money. All four executives admitted that new regulations are needed to govern the financial industry. But they also defended their pay practices and the big bonuses they gave to top executives. Brian Moynihan is with Bank of America. We believe our 300,000 employees are a valuable part of our future, and we need to pay them competitively to ensure that we can keep them so they can help our clients. The panel asked John Mack of Morgan Stanley what must be done to prevent future crises. He said consolidating industry regulation would be a step in the right direction. I would like to see a, um, a kind of a head regulator, uh, not just here in the U.S., but tied to other regulators across the world in a global economy. Congress has instructed the commission to explore 22 issues, including the effect of monetary policy on terms of credit. Robert Raffel, VOA News.